everybody. Thank you for joining us here at Altitude University. Today we're going to be talking about accident reporting. Now, this regulation is under 14 CFR 107.9 for safety event reporting. Now, what this regulation states is that the remote pilot in command of the small UAS or drone is required to report an accident to the FAA within 10 days if it results in either at least serious injury to any person or loss of any consciousness, or if it causes damage to any property other than the small UAS or drone in excess of $500 to repair or replace the property, whichever is lower. The FAA defines an accident as a serious injury or any loss of consciousness. Now a serious injury is defined as if a person requires hospitalization, but the injury is fully reversible. Now we need to talk about the responsibilities of the remote PIC. Now, it is a remote PIC's responsibility to brief our crew. Now, if you're utilizing a visual observer, that is a great tool to maintain safety of your operation. However, the responsibility of the operation does still fall on the remote pilot in command. Because of that, we need to ensure the safety of our surrounding area, which means as a remote PIC, it is our job to make sure that we clear out or warn non-participants of our operation. Now some steps we can take to avoid accidents is making sure we do a, an extremely thorough pre-flight. Now what this can entail is assessing our operating environment, so maybe bystanders and non-participants. Checking our weather restrictions and making sure we're abiding by those regulations. Checking local airspace restrictions so that we don't get ourselves in trouble by flying through airspace that we don't have authorization to fly in. Ensure that the controls are working properly on our drone before we take flight. And making sure that there is sufficient power to land properly and that all objects are attached and secured. We also need to ensure that as a remote PIC, we have all documentation visible and available for inspection. As long as we're taking these steps to do our pre-flight, then we can avoid accidents. However, if we do find ourselves in an accident, there are two ways that we can report that to the FAA. Our first one is utilizing their website, the FAA Drone Zone, or the second one, you can contact your local FISDO or Flight Standards District Office. Thank you for joining us and remember to fly safe.